Hello, I'm Robert and in this tutorial I want to show you how to make a low poly robot character. So first of all I want to enable screencast keys so you know what I'm using. And I want to delete my camera and my light source. And with our cube selected I want to scale this on the Y just a little bit. And I want to make sure uh, we do apply rotation and scale because when we apply a bevel right now, we want it to look uniform. And the reason why we want to do that is because we scaled it down the Y, so it changed uh, the unit. So go into edit mode, and with everything, everything selected, you control B. And we want some bevels that look just like this. Now what we want to do is, uh, we want two loop cuts, just like that, and another loop cut in this direction. And what we want to do, um, let's select like these two bird edges and scale down on the Y. And now let's delete these faces. And what we want to do now is to pretty much. Um, add these faces in these empty spots by pressing F. So once you have that uh, done, what we want to do is to make two more edge, um, loop cuts and another one in this direc direction. And before we continue, I want to make a mirror modifier, and if you don't know what it is, it's basically, well, we want to cut half. So if we cut half, basically when we apply the mirror modifier, we'll have um, this uh, uh, part of the mesh on this other side. You'll see what I mean. So just add mirror and make sure it's on the Y axis. And there we go. So we don't have to apply changes on both sides, which is pretty handy. So now what I want to do is select these two faces. I'm going to select this edge and I'm going to extrude Y. And we want uh, the Y position of this and this other edge to be the same. So to do that, uh, well, we could obviously do scale Y zero, but we don't want to do that because it will change our bevel. So in this situation, I'm going to select this edge. I want to go into snap options and I want to use the edge uh, snap element. So it's going to snap to an edge, but we're, all, but we're going to lock it on the Y axis so that when we do it, it'll uh, work just fine and just make sure you cover with the mouse on top of the edge that we want which is this one so take off the snap and now what we want to do is fill this in just like we did before and the same here so now we have some weird things going on uh, and actually, by the way, I forgot to mention, this is going to be kind of like a drone-like robot. Because I thought it was pretty cool. So I want to make a cube. And we obviously want to scale this down. And we kind of want the cube to fill in these gaps. I just thought it looked cool. That's why I did those gaps. That was the main reason. Uh, scale Y... And don't worry about these edges, we'll uh, take care of them now. And once you think it looks nice uh, and it fills in the gaps pretty well, we want to go into edit mode and get rid of these bird edges that are sticking out. So I want to go into wireframe view and create two edges just like that. Let's select these uh, vertices, sorry, edges. Oh, 
come on, sorry. And what we want to do now is scale on the Z. And we seem to also be having problems with, oh never mind, they seem to have disappeared. So once you have that done, what we're going to do now is add, uh, let's add some uh, kind of like lenses to the robot, which will make it look kind of like a face, like an eye. So select this edge, and we want to do Shift S cursor to select it. Go into Object Mode, and we want to add a circle, and we only want eight vertices. So we're going to rotate this on the Y 90 degrees, and we're going to scale it down. So once we're done with that, I want to press extrude, actually wait, yeah, I extrude on the X, extrude, scale down, extrude once more and move this on the X axis, just press F and let's make an inset face and another one. And once we've did, we've done that, select uh, this ring loop. There we go, and extrude. So those are pretty much our lenses, and they actually seem to be too big. Um, let's scale this on this axis, just like that. That seems to look nice. And let's make them stick out just a little bit more. Perfect. So we're going to add just a few more details to um, our mesh. And actually let's make this a bit bigger. Just like that. And I want you to select uh, the cube looking thing with bevels. And what I'm going to do is select this edge and go and select these other ones until this edge. And what we're going to do is press Shift D to duplicate, press P and separate by selection. So go into object mode and select those edges, go into edit mode and let's move that vertice there to there select these vertices extrude on the Y so now that we have everything selected select everything actually not everything what we're going to do to reduce the poly count um, let's make an edge uh, loop cut and let's slide it over and now we're going to select these faces and we're going to press scale shift Y. Scale down on the X just a little bit. Scale again. And let's move these faces a little bit so it looks a bit more uniform. Okay, so we have some flipped normals. So we're going to solve that. Just select the weird looking faces and press Control N. And that should look fine. So we already, we just made our last um, you call them our last detail sorry I'm a bit tired today uh, so press shift s no sorry shift c to center the cursor and we're going to make another cube and this will go under it and this will be kind of like a propulsion system and well it can be whatever we want obviously we're going to scale this down. That looks nice. And with everything selected, 
before we do anything make sure to apply rotation and scale for the same reasons as with this other object and go into edit mode and do control B and we're going to add some more details as well we're going to make something similar to this just uh, in this other object so doing uh, some loop cuts and scale this on the X oh sorry on the Y now what we want to do is delete to delete these faces and fill them in make sure you get them on both sides and once we're done with that actually we want to move this down it looks a bit um, too weird to me and we're going to make another cube move it down scale scale on the Z scale on the X and that's good enough so we can obviously add more things if we want to and I'm actually going to just add like some arms so what I want you to do is go into object mode add a cube and go into edit mode and move and the reason why we want to move it on in the edit mode is because we want the origin to be at the center because if we move it in object mode what we're doing is moving the origin with the uh, rest of the mesh so I want to scale this down scale this on the Y well it doesn't have to necessarily be arms it can be anything we want uh, let's see what I come up with hope it doesn't look terrible and let's keep doing some loop cuts try to follow along if you made it through this video I highly encourage you to try to make your own designs it's going to help you a lot with 3d modeling and getting better so I made I don't even know how to name these but they look cool well we'll know for sure when we have both of them at the, uh, the dist from a distance looking from a distance so we want a mirror on the Y and it doesn't appear to look half bad so if you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to like and subscribe and if you have any suggestions or want to learn anything make sure to comment down below Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.